Right, so today's video starts at uh, Lisbon City Centre. It's uh, 7.15 and we're on the way to a place called Reba Golf. About 40 minute drive outside the city centre. Two courses, more man versus golf hole challenges. Right, so after three days of whinging that I don't know my yardages, um, if I'd have just took time to read the card, well I think the bit I got wrong was, it's metres isn't it, so red is 100 metres, one stripe, two stripes is 150 metres and three stripes is 200 metres. Metres not yards and. Right, so day three, uh, last day actually in Lisbon, I'm at Reba Golf, this is Reba Golf course number two that I'm on at the moment and uh, we're going to start Man vs Golf Old Challenge. Just a bit of uh, information for you, it's about 45 minutes out of the city centre of uh, Lisbon. So far we've had four or five warm-up holes, I'm not too sure what number we're on, what is it? It is number six, I've just looked at the course map, 306 yards, plenty of water, potentially plenty of drama, I need a decent tee shot. But I'm used to these conditions because it's windy and it's a bit more like the UK rather than Portugal. I haven't hit driver yet, so I'm going with driver. And I'm going to go everything you'll see. Let's throw some drone footage over first of all. So water all down the left for the tee shot. So I'll be trying to stay way right to that. And then the second half of the flight that you see now is with water all in front of the green, which looks really interesting. But let's get this bit done first of all. I think you'd probably call it a good bad and it wasn't the best strike of the day it's probably uh, a typical first drive of the day but it's in the middle of the fairway and that's all that matters i suppose right so now i know how to work out my yardages i reckon we've got about 115 120 but it's into the wind and off the right a little bit a little bit more drone footage for you because i've just had a walk forward it's really nice this this uh, stone wall right in front of the hole it's a great golf uh, great golf hole from uh, from tee to green but as ever it's one of them ones, you, the one that you don't want to beat is short, so I'm going 9 iron. striking if I'd have played uh, for the win which clearly came off the right it might have been too bad but I started that off of the pin and that's drifted left I'm on top of the bunker and that's a tough up and down from there right well now and again you get short-sided and this is short-sided I've got about four or five yards worth of green to work with so uh, wish me luck I don't know how good the sound is because the wind is so stiff today Smiling when that one's in the air, that was, uh, well, that was Seve. I think that's the first putt I've held in, uh, in a few days, to be honest. I was expecting to two putt from there, so uh, this putt is not too bad after all. Anyway, that's a win for the average golfer and one up. Man 
versus golf is at 13th again it looks a great hole i've not seen it down there yet i'm going to fly the second half for this um for some drone footage for you uh, 474 meters so what's that maybe about 520 it's a par 5 obviously and it's stroking next four and it's into the wind i think this is going to be a tough one obviously driver it seems to weave its way from right to left Right, let me explain. Driving off onto the angle of the dog leg, onto the bank, I can't pick it up coming down. It's one of them ones I've no idea of gauging distance how far that is. So I've either travelled up into the stuff on the high bit, but I was expecting a ball to bounce down off that camber. We're going to find out. Well, the idea of these trips is to show you uh, around these golf courses. So I like to show you all around these golf courses. It didn't camber off and I'm not in the best of places. I still haven't seen what's around the corner. All I do know is my ball, by the way, is down here. It's not great. I've got an, uh, an eight iron. I'm going to go straight across over there and hopefully have a look around that corner and see if we can make some decent shots after this one. I don't know where they should be pitching wedge, not eight iron, but there you go. Well, that's pretty good. I've got a great contact on it. It's gone straight where I aimed. Let's have a look around the corner. It might get a glimpse of the green. Right, so I'm gonna put the drone up for you now and just have a look at this second shot in. Um, obviously, I've had to chip out, so I'm a way back from where you'd wanna be, but this is a great golf hole. Uh, and you've got two choices now. This is what I'm gonna ask you. Uh, we've got, it's actually eight iron, but it should be a five iron. So you've got five iron, straight at that bunker, and then we ain't gonna make green in regulation. Or are we going to go for it on three wood? It's about 220 into the wind. Water all down the right. Come on, quick. Which one? Right, so I've got a quick look at the vote. Everyone's gone for three wood. Clearly want to see me put this one in the water. So is it three wood cut off the left back towards the water? Or drawing in over it? <laughs> of a hanging line. a bit of a splash do you know what it was half decent strike for a while and that wind is coming off the left as well it wasn't the best idea there was a bit of cut on it we're in the water we've got to take a drop up there yeah not a bad effort i'll take that but i've got to get don't forget so what i'm playing five so up and down for a half or i'm back to square a lot better than it's finished in the air it was right at it but it's landed quite soft it looked so it's going to kick on so i think i've got a bit of a putt to make there well that's have a roll of it it's got a way past but that one doesn't matter so uh yeah it would have been a seven at best the course well and truly beat me there didn't help with the uh, tee shot where i started from but you've got to say that's a great golf hole but anyway we're all square right the final hole we've swapped courses we're on reba golf one the first two holes were reba golf two i think i did mention two 18s here they're quite different to be fair um on this course reba one a lot bigger greens big bunkers wider fairways i think perhaps a little bit more forgiving but it's a great hole anyway 14th 283 meters uh some drone footage over for you now as ever stroke index 13 water all down the left and a green with a bit of water on it as well. Three wood off the tee at the big tree. That's 
probably the best tee shot of it all day, without doubt. Uh, it pretty much didn't leave that tree. I didn't know the yardage, and it's cambered in just a little bit uh, right to left as well, a bit close to the hole. So I reckon we haven't got much left in there. That's a good start. No shots on this one though. I was right of the flag, but short again, just not quite used to the yardage, or at least that's my excuse anyway. That's rolled on a bit further than you'd want it. What's a chance? Straight putt at last. I read that one right, no breaking it, and it went right down the throat of it. So that's, uh, but that's all square. That's only for the half, and uh, yeah, matches halved here between uh, average golfer and Reba Golf One and Reba Golf Two. So two really interesting courses. I know it's hard to split them. There's not a great deal of difference. Like I said, for me, the main difference is a lot bigger greens, They're almost more like American style greens on uh, the course that I'm playing now, which is Reba Golf One. Much more sand, bigger bunkers, um, but again, it's been nice. Bit, but a bit of wind, although it did calm down a little bit, and uh, sun's shining. And as ever, let's go and have a pint.